All right, it is day two for the Lantern Trials. If you finished yesterday's challenge, you got the awesome wrap as seen on the left there. I did it, you had to get 35 kills. By the way, I recorded each and every of my 35 kills and I put it in a little montage type video. It's pretty sweet. There's some funny moments, there's some awesome kills, but more importantly, there's me getting the wrap. So that's how you got the wrap and today's challenge is something brand new. Let's take a look at what it is. So as of this video, you have 12 hours to complete it and it says you get one point for every 100 damage deal to opponents. So this is only available in any battle royale mode and zero build. So that's solos, duos, trios, squads in both build and no build. No LTMs, no team rump. So in order to get the milestone of the day, you have to get 100 points. So one point for every 100 damage and you need 100 points. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So you have to do 10,000 damage. That sounds like a lot, but what they don't tell you is that NPCs count, such as IO guards, Dr. Sloan, and you can even sit in the tank and do that. So I'm gonna show you the best strategy. We're gonna see how quickly we can actually do this. Now of note, if you didn't get the wrap yesterday and you complete this milestone of the day, you're gonna get the wrap today. If you did complete the challenges yesterday and you already have the wrap, then today you're gonna to get the lantern backlit. So that's how that works. You have to complete two milestones of the day to get the lantern. So let's hop into some matches. I don't know the best mode to do this in. Obviously I'm gonna do zero build, but I feel like in solos, a lot of people are gonna land where I'm gonna show you, but we'll see. Let's just test it out. Okay, so there's two spots you can go to for easy NPC damage. Coney Crossroads, because there's tons of NPCs there right now, or the Fortress. Now, I'm gonna go to the Fortress, but like I said, in solos, it could be a bit hairy. I think in solo squads, you're less likely to find people here, but let's just see how it is. I'm gonna land there, hop in the tank right away, and start damaging Dr. Sloan and all the guards. And then we'll see on the Lantern Trials website how much damage we actually did in one single match. Now, if I survive, great. If I don't, that's fine too. I'm not here for wins, I'm here for damage. And it looks like I might be in the clear. So it looks like I might be in the clear. Just gonna hop right in here, right into the tank, and we're gonna do as much damage as we can. So this should count, both using this gun as well as the cannon. Yes, nobody landed here, this is gonna be awesome. Now you could also let them revive each other, especially the Dr. Sloan skins, and just rack up the damage. Hopefully these aren't real people. And again, if I die, that's fine. So I'm gonna make Dr. Sloan split here. And then we'll hop into the tank. as much damage as we can. Take out as many bots as we can. I think they're all coming up on the left side now. And we'll let them revive each other as well. I'm going front a little bit. So I know someone's gonna eventually come up and kill me, yep, from behind. That was actually a real person right there. Oh, that's unfortunate. So a real player actually hit me from behind. And I'm lagging too, that stinks. Do some more damage here. And <laughs> Dr. Sloan killed me. That's okay, that's okay. So that was a bit all over the place. I didn't get as much damage as I like because the Dr. Sloan's hidden there. But let's see how much damage we did. So we did 1,700 right there. 1,700 in one match and it was a horrible match. That was a horrible example. So we're almost 20% done already. That's crazy. Let's hop back in and try again. Okay, take two. I feel like we can do so much better than 1,700 damage. Oh, my game's froze. Crap. I don't know why I'm playing on the PS5. It lags. I can't even jump off the battle bus. Look at this. I'm pushing the, there it goes. Yeah, there's the lag. PS5 always lags me. I hate it. I have no issue on my PS4. 
In fact, I might just swap to it. So like I said, I think we could do way better than 1,700 damage. But now I've got an awful drop. Yeah, that guy's going straight there too. Shoot. So ideally, you want no other real people landing here. And I imagine this guy's going to hop in the tank. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can get in here too. Okay, I'm in. Nice. Okay, so there is a real guy in here. You gotta be careful. Good 120 there. There's Dr. Sloan. Let's try to take her away with us a little bit. That's the real one. Oh, jeez. Trying to repair the tank a little bit. Jeez, they do some serious damage. Oh my god, they're everywhere! That's the real one right there. Get me on the turret! There we go. Oh jeez, it's gonna blow! Oh jeez! Oh man, they're everywhere! Holy crap! The aim assist is real. Spray them all. Better fall back. Oh my god! Oh, that's a real person. Okay. Well, let's see how much damage we did that time. Even with our laggy conditions, we got uh, only 1,800. Again, I feel like we could do way more than that. Alright, so we got clean angles on them here. But that's the real one. So we don't want to hit that one. Holy crap! Oh, that was the real one. Alright, so I feel like we did a lot of damage there. There's a guy right there. Yes, game over indeed, sir! Keep healing up, buddy. Keep healing up. Got a lot of mo. I see two guys fighting over here, but I keep lagging. There's no way I'm going to win this. Look how laggy I am. I'm just skipping all over the place. If I can sneak up on these guys. I only have 22 ammo left. There he is. Yes! Oh my god, I just got incinerated by that. That was ridiculous. Alright, how much damage? 2,957, that's what I'm talking about. We're close. Okay, I'm getting off the PS5 because this is killing me. I cannot play in this lag. That is not the boss. That was a real player. What was he doing? He got a nasty shot on me, though. Wow. I can't see these guys. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he's one shot, but that's good. We'll let him heal up. We actually want him to heal up so we can get more damage. Someone's coming up here. You gonna land on me? Oh, 
Oh no, he's one shot. Oh wow! Sorry, buddy. Okay, here's the other guy. I see him. Yeah, that guy got. I'd be mad if I was that guy. He had full health, I think. There's a guy right there. He's almost dead. Oh, it's gonna hit him spot on. Look at that. Boom! What? Oh. Someone just popped a supply drop. There he is. Come on, come on. Such nice shots. Oh, look at that. All right, we gotta go. Oh, I just died to a bush camper. Are you kidding me? In a top three situation, I died to this guy camping in a bush? That's unfortunate, but 3,631 damage that match. 3, 6, 3, 1. I think that's enough. All right, so there we go. The Dream Lantern. Check that out. And you can see that it does light up. I think that's the reactivity. Or it's just animated. We'll have to see. So, according to my capture card, it took me 22 minutes to do this. 22 minutes to get 10,000 damage. So as you saw... The best bet is to land at the fortress, take out all the Sloans, all the IO guards. I wouldn't necessarily go in the tank because you get lasered in that by Dr. Sloan. But then, once you clear that area, if you clear it, blast yourself off to the blimp in Coney, and you'll have Dr. Sloan's burst. Sit on top of that blimp and just laser people. Let them heal and laser them. It's super easy. Or you could try to land in Coney and just defeat all the NPCs down there, but there's a lot of people landing there as well. So you may get killed in the process. 10,000 damage may seem like a lot, but 22 minutes is all it took. You know how long it took me yesterday to get the wrap? 35 kills? Four hours! Four hours to get 35 kills, as opposed to 22 minutes to get this milestone for today. So I'm going to do a full gameplay and review on both the Dream Lantern plus the free wrap. Stay tuned for that. I'll also show how this is reactive. Well, let's just make sure it is reactive. It is reactive. As you can see, it does say reactive. Let the lantern light the way. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this skin, this is the Wu-Tang Clan skin. And I got the male version as well. He's right here. So I did a full gameplay and review on the entire set. Epic Games sent them to me early because I'm an Epic partner. And I did a quick early review. So check that out. There's a lot of reactivity in there. Some of the best pickaxes in the game. And an amazing glider as well. Plus, of course, this emote. The Wu-Tang is forever. So there you go. Stay tuned for my review of the wrap and the lantern. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.